Well, hi again, everybody, and as always, welcome to high school basketball tonight. We're in Pandora, Gilboa, where the Rockets are going to host the Audubon Big Green in this Putnam County League Saturday night matchup. My name is John Zerby. Alongside me tonight is Josiah Stober. Josiah, we've got a good one here in Pandora, Gilboa tonight. Yeah, really excited to see this matchup between the Pandora, Gilboa Rockets. You know, 3-0 in the Putnam County League. Audubon Big Green coming in at only 1-0 in the Putnam County League. So a big game for both of these teams. Want to stay unblemished on the season. You know, as we just look at these teams, Audubon, you know, the big thing really for both teams set, surrounds Aiden Harris, number three. Yep. Was honored tonight for 1,000 points on the year. You know, for Audubon, got to be a, find a way to shut him down. For Pandora Gilbo, find ways to get him going early and often. We'll take a look at the starting lineups quickly. First, we'll start with the visiting Audubon Big Green. They have Jace Langhouse, he's a senior, six foot two inch guard. Garrett Trippman, 5'11 junior guard. Landon Horseman, six foot four inch forward. Michael Turnwald, five foot ten inch guard. And finishing out the starting lineup for the Big Green, six foot three inch senior Keith Schnipke. They are coached by Keith Utendorf. Keith Utendorf, excuse me. Pandora, their starting lineups tonight. Number one, Colin Harris. He's a uh, six foot two inch senior. That name, Josiah mentioned just a minute ago, Aiden Harris, 1,000 points just a few nights ago, six foot four inch senior. Aiden Morris, he's a six foot senior. Zach Neuenschwander is a six foot senior. And finally, Nate Mag, six foot four inch, 190 pounds senior for the Rockets. Rockets are coached by Mike Lee. So we're going to get this thing started here on a Saturday. You know, typically, Josiah, we, we do these Saturday night games. It's non-conference. It's, you know, half of a crowd. People are typically, you know, coming after a college football game. That's not the, the stage set tonight here. Yeah, there's not many seats open, as we can see. The fans for the, the home team, Pandora Gaboa, got a really good student section. They're ready to go for this Putt County League matchup. Pandora Gilboa comes into this game the number one team ranked in the Elida Division IV District. Audubon ranked number two in the OHSAA District rankings. So we're going to get this thing started here first. Pandora gets the possession, looking inside. Colin Harris gets his first attempt, and he gets it to go on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Yeah, Pandora Gilboa likes to run that back cut. Finds Colin Harris there for the easy bucket. Comes in averaging 10 points. A good start for this Rockets team. Nice looking pass inside for Audeville. First shot by Michael Turnwall. Just a little bit off the iron and a nice looking rebound by Nate Mag. Pandora is going to push the transition. Neuenschwander kicks it out to Harris. Harris to the corner. Neuenschwander takes it. He's going to get to the free throw line. Yeah, drew some contact there by Keaton Schnipke. First foul of the night for this Audubon Big Green team. So that's going to take Zach Neuenschwander to the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throw line as the Pandora Go Rocket, Gilboa Rockets holding on to a 2-0 to zero lead. He's going to push that lead to three here early in the first quarter. Second free throw attempt for tonight. And he hits the Lee's free throw, 4-0, big, excuse me, Rockets on top of the big green. Yeah, Zach Newish Wander, 100% from the free throw line on the year, so expected him to knock down both of those, so he continues with that perfect percentage. Yeah, not, not bad, I'm sure, I'm sure <laughs> <laughs> Coach Lee's okay with that percentage. Out of a nice backdoor cut by Jace Langhouse, kicks it to the corner, that's Garrett Trippman. This is a little long ball still in play. Nice rebound by Trippman. Gets it inside. Now a kick out to Turnwall. Turnwall for the triple. And he gets the nice kind roll on the Sprunger insurance scoreboard, getting the big green on the docket tonight. Yeah, good extra possession there by the big green. One thing that Coach Utendorf talked about is getting those extra possessions and paid off in a big way for Audeville. Nate Mag misses the triple try. And it's going to be held possession-wise by Audeville. Got three pretty good officials tonight. John Huber, James Jordan, Kevin Catafias. Good officiating crew here from the Toledo area. This is Langhouse. Langhouse looking inside. He's got it to Landon Horseman. Horseman, nice move in the paint. Uses the glass just a little bit off. And now we're going to have a battle with it out of bounds. And we're going to say it's possession to Pandora Gilboa. That way. That way. 
So Aiden Harris coming into this game, averaging a little over 21 points a game. He's going to drive the lane. Ball's going to be stripped. Nice looking takeaway by Jace Langhouse. Yeah, good defense there. It looked like it had an easy bucket, but Audible comes back here. They've really done a good job on the offensive glass. Gained another possession for the big green here. We've seen it early and often. Two, three big green players run into the basket, and they're missed there by Turnwald. Nate Mag came down with the rebound. Pandora controlling possession. We, we see a little nerves here tonight as Colin Harris is going to fire up the triple, and he does. He brings the triple on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard, pushing the Rockets' lead to seven to three. Yeah, Colin Harris coming in, only shooting 18% from beyond the arc, but finds himself with a little bit of space and a good pass from his teammate and knocks it down. Landon Horseman trying to make something happen. It looks like he maybe lost his dribble. He's going to turn the ball over, and that's going to give Pandora Gilboa a possession here with five minutes to go in the first quarter. Aiden Harris getting instructions from Coach Mike Lee. Coach Lee, many stops, including Minster, where he was a longtime head coach at Minster, as we're going to get a foul here on the floor. Now he's kind of had a second life here at Pandora Gilbo. It's been fun to watch him have the success that he's had, not only in the Midwest Athletic Conference, but here in the Putnam County League, too. So Aiden Morris, nice pass inside the mag, and mag's going to find himself an opportunity to get to the Lee's famous recipe free throw line. Up. Yeah, we saw a great cut there and a great pass. Finding Nate Mag after he set that ball screen, found himself with a little bit of space, able to go up and a foul on Turnwald allows Mag to go back to the free throw line. First free throw is a little long. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpock, Delphus, and St. Mary's. You can call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Nate Mag will get his second opportunity from the charity stripe, and he gets it to fall. Eight to three, PG on top of the Ottaville Big Green on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Ottaville trying to get something going here from the corner. That's Ashton Miller. Ashton Miller gets on the scoreboard for the Big Green. Pandora Goboa quickly up the floor. Nice pass from Aiden Harris to Nate Mag. Yeah, Pandora Goboa didn't waste any time after that made shot from Ottaville to get the ball up the court and battle for the ball. And Ottaville comes away with another possession. Ashton Miller came in and added a little spark as he kicks it over to Adam Brinkman. And now that cuts the lead to two on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. A little bit of a spark from two bench players for the Big Green. Coach Utendorf did mention that he'll play nine to ten players consistently tonight. This is Harris. Harris trying to make something happen. Aiden Harris on the shot, Colin Harris both. We'll have to make sure we're saying their first name. Michael Turnwald, he's going to draw the foul. We're going to get a blocking foul in the lane on Pandora Gilboa. Round of foul number 10, Pete Morris is first. Team's first in quarter. Bravo. Nice looking drive there on the Rhodes State College replay by Michael Turnwald. Inbound pass, Turnwald's going to get the triple try, almost gets it to fall. Great hustle by Miller. Back in the corner, Ashton Miller. Showing a little spark here, but we're going to get a kick. And that's going to be a turnover for the Big Green. Yeah, one of the things Coach Utendorf talked about was the possession advantage, talking about getting, you know, more than five possessions more than their opponent and when they've done that they've been had a lot of success this year so we see that early especially them crashing the offensive glass they're gaining a couple extra possessions for their team we'll see if that pays off here as the game goes on so we've got a foul here on the floor as we've seen this on the road state college replay coach utendorf a little upset with that call it's going to push the big green to four team fouls one more foul they will 
put Pandora Gilboa in the bonus. Aiden Harris with the basketball. Thought about the triple. He's going to pull it out and kick it over to Colin Harris. Great defense by the Big Green. The ball's on the floor, and we're probably going to get a jump ball here. But just great defense there by Andy Mormon coming in for the Big Green. And I believe the ball will go to the Big Green. As you said, great defense there. Love to see the players diving on the floor. That ball got towards the floor early, and we saw Audible the first one on the floor. One of those hustle plays that you know coaches love to see out of their players. This is Langhouse trying to make something happen. He kicks it over to the corner to Mormon. Mormon drives the lane, looking for Langhouse inside. Jace Langhouse takes it up, no call. Block was good, Langhouse maintains possession. He's got it over to Miller. Miller in the lane, off the glass, just a little long, and Owen Huffman comes down with the rebound. And here we see Aiden Harris getting the ball out early, finds Collin. Once again, another steal. This Audeville team getting their hands on the balls early, especially on these drives. And they got a foul now on Pandora Gilboa. I love what Jace Langhouse did. He got the steal, but he was standing out of bounds, and so he just waited until his teammate went ahead and grabbed the ball on the floor. Smart basketball as well by the Big Green. 10 to 8 on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Pandora Gilboa on top of the Ottaville Big Green. This Saturday night Putnam County League matchup. Jace Langhouse out on the free throw line. Pandora Gilboa playing a really impressive man-to-man -man defense here. And Adam Brinkman almost traveled, but he gets it back to Langhouse. A nice block by Colin Harris. As we see this on the Road State replay, what a great block by Colin Harris. Yeah, Colin Harris just waiting there for the big green player to go up for the shot and swats it away. And now time for Pandora Gilboa. See if they can extend this two-point lead. And we appreciate Road State, whose spring 2024 registration is now open, sponsoring our replay tonight as Aiden Harris is driving the lane and he's going to get a foul. And now he's going to get this opportunity to go to the Lee's Famous Recipe chicken free throw line. And we saw Aiden Harris there with the mismatch against number 10, Landon Horseman. Drives to his right. Draw some contact, an opportunity for him to get his first points of the night, and he does. So Aiden Harris unusually quiet, and I'm sure that's Coach Utendorf's uh, opinion, a very good thing as defensively they've done a nice job of uh, pressuring him and keeping him off the scoreboard, but he converts that second free throw, one of, or both free throws on the least famous recipe free throw line, and now pushes that Rockets lead to four. Ashton Miller with the basketball. Come in this game and provided a nice spark for the Big Green. Has it over to Andy Mormon. Mormon to Alex Lease now who's in the ball game. To Landon Horseman. Horseman trying to make something happen here and they're going to get him with the charge. Nate Mag did a great job as we see this on the State Road State College replay. Setting his feet and drawing the charge. Yeah, we've seen that a couple times tonight. Nate Mag not getting the charge before, but he was there with his feet in position. Took it right through the chest and gains another possession here for the Rockets. So just under a minute and a half to go here on a Saturday evening in Pandora, Gilboa. Aiden Morris with the basketball, looking inside. Audeville playing great pressure defense, almost a turnover, but Aiden Harris is there and puts it back in for the Rockets. Yeah, a little bit of luck there by the Rockets as the ball was almost intercepted and falls right into Aiden Harris's hand. And we have a block on the other side here on Pandora Gilboa. And I love the intensity of the crowd already and the coaches. I mean, every foul so far has been contested by either side. I love that. I love the. The, the, the reaction of the crowd and the reaction of the coach, you can tell it's a tense environment here as the Pandora Gilboa, Gilboa Rockets have three team fouls in the first quarter. Just about a minute to go here on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. The Rockets holding a 15-8 lead over the Big Green. 
Inbound ball goes to Michael Turnwald. Turnwald getting pressured by Owen Huffman. The ball's going to stay with the Big Green. And Michael Turnwald found himself in a difficult spot there, trapped in the corner. We saw the Skilboa team double him quickly. But Ottawa now with another possession. So nice steal by Colin Harris. He's going to go the full distance here, and he's going to get the almost the triple try. As Andy Mormon came in and fouled Colin Harris on the Rhodes State replay, which is going to allow Colin Harris this opportunity to go to the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throw line. So Colin Harris. First of two opportunities here. This is the first. Substitution for the Big Green. Ashton Miller is going to come back into the game. Substitution for the Rockets as well. Zach Neuenschwander is going to come back in the game as well. Harris converts his second free throw attempt. So Audeville, under one minute to go here, looking to cut this Pandora Gilboa Rockets lead. 15 to eight on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. This is Michael Turnwald hanging on to the basketball. Going one-on-one -on -one with Colin Harris, he kicks it to the corner. Nice drive inside by Ashton Miller. Missed shot, and it's a good rebound there by Owen Huffman. Huffman controlling the basketball. Gets it over to Nate Walker, who's entered the game. And he's got it to Colin Harris, who looks like he's gonna hold up for the final shot here. Yeah, good decision there by Colin Harris. Pulled out as he looks over at Coach Lee and finds an open shooter. Good look for Zach Neuentrander. Misses a little long. Good rebound by Garrett Trentman. And the final shot by Audeville's Michael Turnwald is going to fall just a little bit short. It's been a good first quarter so far on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. It reads the Pandora Gilboa Rockets 15 and the Audeville Big Green 8. We'll be back second quarter action here in just a few moments. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to high school basketball here on WSN. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor is Sprunger Insurance with locations in Andorra and Bluffton. Go Rockets! We appreciate our scoreboard sponsor tonight, Sprunger Insurance. We also want to thank Road State College. Spring 2024 registration is now open. Appreciate their sponsorship of our instant replay tonight. Second quarter action here on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. The Pandora Gilboa Rockets holding a seven point lead over the Audeville Big Green, 15 to eight. So we just get the second quarter action going here. Josiah, some first quarter thoughts so far from you. Yeah, for the home team, uh, it's really been Colin Harris who's been the spark here. Had a big steal there towards the end of the first quarter. Uh, six points to lead this Rockets team. Only four points from Aiden Harris. As you said earlier, Coach Uendorf probably excited, you know, only giving up four points yeah. there in the first quarter. So this big green team doing a good job defensively limiting his touches, but good take there by Nate Mag to finish it off for the Rockets. It's a nice pass by Owen Huffman to find Nate Mag, and that pushes this Rockets lead on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard to 17 to eight. Turnwald driving, Michael Turnwald, he's gonna pick up or get the foul. Looks like they're gonna call this foul a shooting foul, which is gonna get him to the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line. Lee's Famous Recipe chicken in Lima, Walpaw, Delphus, and St. Mary's. You can call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Michael Turnwald hits his first of two free throws which cuts the lead to nine on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. And Michael Turnwell comes into the season shooting 63% from the free throw line as he misses the second one there. Aiden Harris came down with the rebound. He's gonna get it over to Colin Harris as the Rockets get things set up. Now it's Aiden Harris. Harris is gonna drive left hand layup. Aiden Harris looking good. And that's what he does so well is just that little shimmy there on the perimeter. Just gets one little step and with that 6'4 frame, 
really glide to the rim. And we saw there finishing with his left hand. A good take there by Aiden Harris. Michael Turnwell was trying to get the ball inside to Keaton Schnipke. Almost turned the ball over. Schnipke with the basketball now taking Mag one-on-one. -on -one and he spins in the lane. But they're going to get Mag with the foul. Looked like maybe there was traveling, but going to call a foul on the floor. That's the Rockets' second foul of this quarter. Chase Langhouse is going to inbound the basketball. He's got it over to Adam Brinkman. Brinkman inside and good block by Zach Neuenschwander. Yeah, Zach Neuenschwander did a good job just holding his position there, staying straight up and waited for the big green player to jump. And his hand was there. Now we see the Rockets here. See if they can extend this 10-point lead. Pandora go ball looking inside, trying to get the ball inside. Nice deflection by Ashton Miller. We got a substitution for the Rockets. Aiden Morris coming back into the game. You mentioned earlier that the Audeville Big Green like to play 9-10. Rockets, Pandora go ball, go ball Rockets playing several guys as well. And you know, sometimes you, you love to play your normal five or six as Aiden Harris now starting to feel the triple. As he lengthens this Rockets lead. Michael Turnwald misses and Harris comes down with the rebound, but it's great to play nine or ten guys, but you know the reality is, is that you know you like that consistency too from five, six, seven. But you definitely get a spark from playing so many guys off the bench. Yeah, sometimes you like to get those guys in a little bit of a flow, get used to playing with each other as Aiden Harris once again, as you said, kind of heating up a little bit here, trying to get himself more involved in this offense. You know, hit that big three on the last possession, shooting 44% from beyond the arc. And we saw that there. Looked like it was going in once it left his fingertips. So Harris will get his first opportunity, first free throw opportunity from the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line. Also, pushes the Rocket lead to 23-9 on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. And I like what you said there, the flow. It looked like he was just kind of waiting for that to happen in the first quarter. Kind of monitoring what Audeville was doing defensively. It definitely has come out much more aggressive this second quarter. So Pandora Gilboa pushing their lead to 15 right now. 24-9 on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Audeville trying to make something happen here. Triple try by the Big Green. Missed. And a good rebound by the Rockets who managed to get the ball down the floor. This is Aiden Morris going to set things up. We see this Rocket team. They like to push it as quickly as they can, see if they can get some easy buckets. But if it's not there, they do a good job pulling it out. And we see on that last there, Audible trying to double Aiden Harris a little bit. Aiden trying to get out of it, draw some contact. Second foul of this second quarter for the Audible Big Green. So Aiden Morris will set things up for the Rockets. He's going to drive the lane. He's going to kick it out here to Colin Morris. Back to Aiden Morris. Excuse me, Harris. Harris with the basketball. Driving the lane, Aiden Harris on the Rhodes State replay. You're going to see a nice looking play there, and you're going to get a timeout from Audeville, and we're going to take a timeout here. It's high school basketball, and it's the Fort Pandora Gilboa Rockets 26 in the Audeville Big Green 9 on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. More second quarter action here. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. I want to thank our free throw sponsor tonight, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpaw, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. We also want to thank Road State College, our instant replay sponsor tonight. Spring 2024 registration is now open. Road State College, our instant replay sponsor this evening. 26-9 here in Pandora Gilboa as the Rockets are in a commanding lead over the Audeville Big Green on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Smothering defense by the Rockets and 
Andy Mormon's going to turn the ball over to Aiden Morris. Morris now going to control the basketball. Going to set things up for the Rockets. Morris driving the lane. Kicks it. Out for the triple try. And that's Nate Walker coming in and hitting a big triple for the Rockets. Yeah, Nate Walker finding himself with a little bit of space. This PG team driving, finding a lot of success, attacking that paint and kicking it out to their shooters. And like we have a foul here on the inside. I believe it's number 32, Tanner Leakty. We want to thank our scoreboard sponsor tonight, Sprinter Insurance with locations in Pandora and Bluffton. Go Rockets from Sprunger Insurance, our scoreboard sponsor tonight. Inbound basketball here to Landon Horseman. Horseman's going to control the basketball. Great defense by Pandora Gilboa, specifically Aiden Harris, just creating havoc not only on the offensive end, but the defensive end as well, as Ashton Miller misses the shot in the lane. Nice rebound by Horseman. He misses too, and Pandora's going to come down with it. Nate Walker moving quickly up the floor as Aiden Harris Misses the layup, but great rebound by Nate Mag. What a good put back for Nate Mag. Yeah, the Ottomville coaching staff wanted a charge there on Aiden Harris. Officials just allowed him to play on. And we saw a good rebound, as you said, from Nate Mag to find the ball off the miss and go up strong. And this is an officiating crew you will see at the district, regional, state level. They're going to let him play, which. I love, I love, you know, I love seeing kids get physical, using athletic ability, watching the aggressiveness on both ends of the floor. Also, Lots of substitutions here for Pandora Gilboa. Camden Verhoff coming into the game. Ottawa's going to inbound the basketball. This is Horseman, Landon Horseman, stolen by Colin Harris. Harris on the move, great pass by Owen Huffman back to Harris. This is Aiden Harris all the way to the to the hoop. And you're going to see this on the Rhodes State replay as Aiden Harris pushes this big Rockets lead to 33 to 9 on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Ottaville's taking a timeout. We're going to take a timeout here too. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Thank our scoreboard sponsor tonight, Sprunger Insurance, locations in Pandora, another location in Bluffton. Go Rockets from Sprunger Insurance. 33-9, Pandora Gilboa in full control of this Putnam County League game against the Ottaville Big Green. We know Pandora Gilboa coming into this game 11-0 and undefeated, but man, have they been impressive as Keith Schnipke gets Ottaville back on the scoreboard. Yeah, well, it's been the Aiden Harris show here for this Rockets offense. Nine points here in this second quarter alone. He's hit it from beyond the arc, has attacked the rim, done a little bit of everything, as we see now with the ball to pull back, and once again <laughs> just knocks down the three. I mean, a step back triple is beautiful. Aiden Harris and great defense as well by Owen Huffman. And Nate Mag's gonna get it in transition and Pandora Gilboa is rolling. They are absolutely in control of this momentum. They've got the crowd on their side. The student section's loving it. The home fans are loving it. And Ottaville trying to get something going here. This is Michael Turnwald. Trying to slow this game down a, a little bit, trying to get themselves back into the game as we're under two minutes to go here on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Back cut by Grant Garrett Trentman, but Schnipke's gonna keep it and his shot is blocked. This is Landon Horseman underneath and Horseman follows through. Yeah, Landon Horseman, strong finish there as had a couple arms come down on him, but he was able to finish to cut into this Rockets lead here. And we'll see now as once again, Ottaville gets a stop here, which was much needed to kind of slow down this Rockets offense. So Colin Harris with the take there doesn't convert, but now we're going to get a foul on the Rockets underneath, which is going to 
give the opportunity because this is the fifth team foul for Michael Turnwald to get an opportunity to shoot two least famous recipe chicken free throws. And you know, if you're Ottaville, you've taken Pandora's best punches so far. You really have. I really like their grit though. They're hanging in there, they're playing hard, they're battling. I mean, there's no give up in these, this big green team. Yeah, you see it, especially on the defense bed, you know, as you said, uh, they kind of punched in the mouth yeah. by this Rockets team, but, you know, they're continuing to fight, as you said, you know, early on, especially in that first quarter, they were getting their hands on a lot of balls, making it very difficult for this Rockets offense to go, but what we see now is just some of these, the senior leadership here of this Rockets team between Colin and Aiden Harris really being aggressive, attacking the rim. You know, Audible doesn't have any answer for him at this point. Yeah. Very well said. As we're inching up on the minute here, and it looked like we're going to have a, looks like the clock was not running, so they're going to go ahead and get that fixed. So the officials are down at the scores table. We're going to get a substitution for the big green. Andy Mormon's going to check in. And they're going to go ahead and get things fixed here and get the clock reset as Pandora Gobo will inbounds the basketball. With 106 to go here on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard, it's the Pandora Gobo Rockets 38 and the Ottaville Big Green 14. Great defense there by Ashton Miller. He's going to take it to the hole. Got the steal. Didn't get the foul call, but he ends up with the basketball. What great hustle by Ashton Miller. Yeah, Ashton Miller's been a really a good spark for this big green team. Off the bench, came in early in that first quarter, hit a big bucket. Now, as you said, got a great steal out of that out-of-bounds play. Now an opportunity here for two more free throws. Followed a shot, got the steal, got the, then tried to make the the free throw attempt missed, but got his own rebound, and now he's getting himself to the least famous recipe chicken free throw line. What hustle by Ashton Miller, a five foot 11 sophomore guard. With exactly one minute to go here on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Rockets 38, Big Green 15. Miller, the second opportunity a little long, but boy, more hustle again by Ashton Miller. Schnipke with the basketball, gets it over to Mormon. Mormon back to Miller. Miller driving the lane. Ashton Miller gonna take it up, misses. Rebound comes down to Colin Harris. Harris is gonna be fouled by Ashton Miller. Now it will only be the third foul here in the second quarter, so Pandora Gilbo will remain with the ball. Aiden Harris is going to check back in. He checked in for Camden Verhoff, and Mag's going to come back in the game as well. He's checking in for Tanner at Leakty. So Aiden Harris inbounds the basketball with under a minute to go. Gets it over to Colin Harris. So he's going to run the offense here with Nate Walker with the basketball. Looks like Pandora's gonna be aggressive here on the offensive end and not wait for a last shot. Zach Neuenschwander with the basketball. Back to Colin Harris, and now Harris is gonna pull it out here. Great defense by the Big Green. Harris beats his man, finds Aiden Harris in the corner. He drives the lane, and we're gonna get a foul on Andy Mormon. Not really a bad foul, though, with, with three team fouls. That, Gonna have to inbound the basketball here because Aiden Harris might have had a clear shot to the to the rim. Yeah, that will be the third foul on Andy Mormon. Coach decides to keep him in for the final 10 seconds. Nice cut by Colin Harris. It was a nice inbound pass by Nate Walker, and they're gonna get himself to the free throw line as Colin Harris with just eight seconds to go here in the second quarter is gonna get this opportunity to go to the least famous recipe chicken free throw line. So Harris's first free throw attempt is good. Thank least famous recipe chicken. Locations in Lima, Walpock, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Home style happens at least. 
Colin Harris's second opportunity. Misses that one. And quickly, Audeville's in transition. This is Turnwald. Turnwald gets it back out to Schnipke. Triple try from Keaton Schnipke, just a little long. And the rebound comes down to Colin Harris. No call, but that's okay because Pandora Gilboa is in full control as the Rockets hold on to a 39-15 lead over the Ottaville Big Green on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. It's halftime, and we'll see you here in the third quarter when you're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to High School Basketball on WOSN. I want to thank tonight's scoreboard sponsor, Sprunger Insurance, with locations in Pandora and Bluffton. Go Rockets from Sprunger Insurance. We also want to thank Rhodes State College. Spring 2024 registration is now open. Rhodes State College, our instant replay sponsor this evening. 39 to 15 on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard, the Pandora Gilboa Rockets holding on to a big lead over the Ottaville Big Green. As the second half gets going, Ottaville will start with the possession. They're immediately gonna drive the lane. Jace Langhouse, nice start for the Big Green here in the second half. Yeah, we need to see a little bit more of that in this second half. Ottaville did a good job moving the ball from one side of the floor to the other, found the driving lane. See Coach Utendorf there trying to get his guys to Double there on that pass to the wing, but they get a turnover, so another opportunity for the Big Green. We're gonna, Kevin Catafias is going to get Zach Neuenschwander for a travel there, so a turnover for the Rockets means that the Big Green has an opportunity here to cut the lead on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. This is Landon Horseman. Horseman kicks it out to Jace Langhouse. Langhouse looking for a cutting. Garrett Tretman doesn't Get it to him, keeps it. Now he's got Trentman in the corner. Triple try for Garrett Trentman. Ottaville must have made some nice adjustments at halftime. It's great hustle by Jace Langhouse. And we're going to get a foul on the floor as we check out the Rhodes State College instant replay. Nice adjustments and in, uh, intensity here by the Big Green. Yeah, Ottaville getting the start that they wanted here in this second half. Five quick buckets here, five quick points. Cut into this Rockets lead, knocking down the 19. So Colin Harris trying to draw the foul there and they're gonna get the Ottaville Big Green with the foul. Looks like they're gonna get it on Garrett Trentman. So we've got an official timeout on the floor as we Get the shoes tied. We want to also thank our free throw sponsor tonight, which is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Walpock, Delphus, and St. Mary's. You can call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Pandora Gilboa controlling the basketball. This is Colin Harris, point guard of this basketball team. Gets it over to Zach Newen Schwander. Schwander gets it over to Aiden Morris. Morris going to drive the lane. Kicks it out to Nate Mag. Nate Mag. Shot up and missed, and a nice rebound by Aiden Harris, but they're going to call him for over the back. Yeah, Aiden Harris showing a little bit of his athletic ability going up and getting the board, but a good box out there by Michael Turnwald, not allowing him to get that board. Once again, Ottawa on a 5-0 run to start this second quarter. I'm sorry, second half. Ball's on the floor, and looks like we're going to get a jump ball. And you know, like we mentioned in the first half, you know, I, it sounds crazy uh, to say something like this, but Ottaville's given a great effort, great intensity. They just don't have the amount of same amount of points as Pandora. They've done everything that they possibly can, and looks like Ottaville's going to take a timeout here, and we're quickly going to take a timeout as well. It's 39 to 20 on the Sprunger Insurance Scoreboard. Pandora Gilboa on top of Ottaville. Third fourth third correction right here on WSN coming up in just a few minutes. Thank Rhodes State College, our instant replay sponsor tonight, where Spring 2024 20, registration is open. 
Theodore Gilboa on top of the Ottaville Big Green, 39 to 20. And what I was saying before we went to break, Josiah, is we've seen great effort from Ottaville, and it sounds kind of like a simple thing to say, but they just haven't been able to put the ball in the bucket like the Rockets have. Yeah, we're seeing this Rockets offense hitting on all cylinders here, especially in that first half. Got to talk about Aiden Harris had 16 points total, had 12 of those points in that second quarter where he came alive. But once again, as you said, that Ottawa defense, you know, there's no lack of trying out there, getting on the floor, getting their hands on a lot of balls. Just as you said, just not putting the ball in the bucket. And I think that's one of the things Coach Gutendorf had talked about is, you know, having some difficulty scoring throughout this year. Had been coming on as of late, just haven't been able to find it tonight. So Ottaville gets the steal. Schnipke had the steal, but couldn't convert on the turnover opportunity. And now Pandora Gilboa in possession of the basketball. And Zach Neuenschwander gets it over to Nate Mag. Mag running the offense back to Aiden Harris. Harris back to Neuenschwander. To Colin Harris. Harris is going to be bumped by Keaton Schnipke, and we're going to get a foul here on the floor. Ottaville foul on number three. Keaton Schnipke used all six foot three of himself to use his body there. And it's going to be the second team foul on the big green this quarter. Ashton Miller back in the game. He was one of the players coming off the bench for the big green that added a big spark. Nice steal by Landon Horseman. Horseman almost made away with it, but he stepped out of bounds. But once again, aggressive defense by the Big Green hanging in there and really causing some problems for this Rocket offense. Yeah, we saw Landon Horseman read that pass off of Aiden Harris. Almost got a steal there for his team. And just stepped on that black line. Official was right there to see it. Looks like another turnover. This Rockets team really struggling here to find that same rhythm they had in the second quarter. Ottaville still on that 5-0 run. Opportunity here to see if they can cut into this lead. Landon Horseman just playing some incredible defense here as Michael Turnwald takes the shot there, misses. Horseman almost got the rebound, and Colin Harris gets the steal. He gets it up to Zach Neuenschwander. Schwander, Neuenschwander misses the shot. Nice block by Ashton Miller. Miller on transition. He gets it over to Turnwald. Turnwald. We're gonna get a we're gonna get a call here on the floor here. We've got an injury by underneath the basket here, and we've got an injury on the floor. Aiden Harris is down, and injury timeout means we're gonna take a timeout here. It's 39-20 on the scoreboard. We'll be back here in just a few minutes on WOSN. We're back here at Pandora Gilboa High School as we just had an injury timeout there. As Aiden Harris went down, he's walked off the floor, thankfully, and Ottaville's gonna maintain possession as Michael Turnwald misses the shot here, and Colin Harris comes down with the basketball. Now Pandora Gilboa in transition. Great pass by Owen Huffman, but a shot was missed. But a nice rebound by Colin Harris, and he's gonna get an opportunity to go to the free throw line. Yeah, and that's where we see Pandora at their best. Just that one, kind of one-touch passing, if you want to call it that. You know, the ball wasn't in anybody's hand for very long. Got the ball up the floor quickly. A miss there by Zach Neuschwander. But then falls to Colin Harris. Nice opportunity now to shoot some free throws. So Colin Harris converts his first Lee's Famous Recipe chicken free throw. Now he's going to get a second opportunity. Harris just a little long, but hustles and grabs his own rebound and gives Pandora Gilbo a new life as Neuenschwander has the triple try just off the front of the rim, and we're going to get a foul underneath. And it's been getting more and more and more intense as this game goes on. I love the intensity by both teams. Well, we've seen most of the action off of those offensive rebounds, <laughs> defensive rebounds. Both teams love to fly to the backboard to try to get another possession, and we saw it there, a push there on number 25, Ashton Miller. But we've seen both teams crash that offensive glass to get more possessions for their team. Colin Harris drives the lane, just misses, balls battled, and it's going to go to Audeville. 
Nate Mag and Landon Horson battling for the basketball, and they're going to say that it went off Nate Mag. So Ottaville going to get this opportunity to continue to cut this lead. It's 40 to 20 on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Nice drive inside. We're going to get a foul underneath. Did you see that on the Road State College instant replay? Rocket foul on number 34, Nate Mag, his second, team second of the quarter. Well, we'll see how this Rocket team responds as their leading scorer, Aiden Harris, is currently not on the bench. Probably an opportunity to go back to the locker room to get looked at by the trainer. For this Rockets team, we'll see you know, with a 20-point lead, see who steps up for their senior leading score. So this is Adam Brinkman with the basketball. He gets it back over to Michael Turnwald. Turnwald drives the lane. Nice drive by Turnwald. He kicks it over to Andy Mormon. Mormon, he's back in the lane. He's going to pull it out and reset things. Turnwald. It's a pesky Pandora Gamboa defense, and now the defense is going to get a turnover. Yeah, we saw Garrett Trentman thinking his big man was still going to be there posting up in the paint, but Landon Horseman had left that position and a turnover by the Ottawa Big Green. Backdoor cut by Owen Huffman, but the ball's turned over, and it's a turnover by Adam Brinkman for the Big Green. But Colin Harris gets it right back, gets it over to Nate Mag. Mag takes it up and scores. 42-20 on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Pandora Gilboa on top of the Ottaville Big Green. Triple try in the corner by Garrett Trentman. Misses, but nice rebound by Landon Horseman, and he converts. Now he's going to have an opportunity to have a three-point play. Yeah, Landon Horseman right there as Colin Harris comes down with the ball. But Landon Horseman gets a hand in there to knock it free. Goes up strong. Draws some contact from Colin Harris. And as you said, Opportunity now for a three-point play. Landon Horseman's been hustling this half, playing great defense, going after rebounds, and now he's going to get an opportunity at the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken Free Throw line. Doesn't convert, but nice hustle by Ashton Miller. Ball was on the floor. Some wrestling going it down with Tanner Leakty, but they're going to say that Pandora Gobo is going to end up with it. So this is... Owen Huffman, Huffman with the basketball, and that's going to be a foul. Foul in the middle of the floor, that's going to be a push. That's the 15th foul for the Big Green, which is going to send Owen Huffman now to the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throw line, as you've seen on the Road State College replay. Huffman converts his first of two pushing this Rockets lead to 43 to 22 on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Huffman a second opportunity here to increase the lead just a little long and Ottaville's Adam Brinkman gonna come down with the rebound. Michael Turnwald with the basketball. Turnwald drives the lane, kicks it over to Alex Lease. Lease triple try just a little long. Good rebound, it was Colin Harris Kind of fighting Tanner Leakty for the basketball. A nice looking play there for the Rockets. Nate Walker getting on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. That's Adam Brinkman driving the lane. And Audible's done a really good job of creating opportunities to get to the free throw line this quarter. Yeah, Adam Brinkman did a good job there. Shot faking, getting Colin Harris up in the air, drives by him. And Draw some contact here. You know, but I, I want to say, you know, Colin Harris, you know, with his athleticism, does yeah. such a great job of rebounding on both sides of the court, on the offense and the defensive glass there. You know, it's so nice when you have a player that can rebound and then start to break. Yeah. And we've seen that a couple times tonight. So Adam Brinkman converts his first of two. He's going to get another opportunity here at the Lee's free throw line. Brinkman, up and good. As that cuts the Rockets lead to one. Great pass to Colin Harris all the way down the floor. Nice looking pass from Nate Walker. As Colin 
Harris showing his athletic ability. This is Keaton Schnipke. Schnipke into the lane. Euro step and gets the other opportunity once again to get to the free throw line and have a three point attempt. Yeah, like you said, Audeville's doing a good job of really getting into that paint, either driving and kicking, and then shot faking and attacking that rim. And they've done that really well here in this third quarter. Once again, another opportunity for a three point play. So Keaton Schnipke now goes to the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throw line with just under two minutes to go here on a Saturday evening in Pandora Gilboa. Putnam County League matchup. Shots missed, but a nice rebound by Alex Lee. Back to Schnipke. Schnipke inside, can't get it to fall. And a good rebound by Nate Mag. Excuse me, Tanner Leakty had that rebound. And they're going to say, it's going to be Pandora Gilboa's basketball. There's some confusion there as to whose basketball it was, and Pandora Gilboa is going to maintain possession. Harris gets the ball up to Walker. Walker, nice pass up to Zach Neuenschwander. Zach Neuenschwander. 49 26 on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Pandora Gilboa pushing their lead to 23. Michael Turnwall gets stuffed by Neuenschwander. He's feeling it. So we're going to get a foul on the floor on Michael Turnwall. And that's going to push Pandora Gilboa to the free throw line as both teams are now in the bonus. I want to thank our scoreboard sponsor tonight, Sprunger Insurance, locations in Pandora and in Bluffton. Go Rockets from Sprunger Insurance. Also, our free throw sponsor tonight, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. You have locations in Lima, Walpaw, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Plus, they do catering. Home style happens here, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. This gives the opportunity for Pandora Gilboa to go back to this Lee's free throw line. It's Camden Verhoff getting his first opportunity to, to get on the scoreboard here. Some substitutions for Audeville. Andy Mormon's checking into the game. Just over a minute to go here in the third quarter. Verhoff short, and Jace Langhouse comes down with a good rebound for the Big Green. Get a foul on the floor here for the Rockets. And you know, when both teams get to the to the bonus, you're quickly, lots of free throws are quickly happening. It seems like that's all we've done in this third quarter is, is get to the free throw line. You know, both these teams are really aggressive on the defensive end, so you kind of expect you know quite a few fouls. Um, I thought the officials have done a really good job of really letting them play for the yep. most part, unless it's affected the play here. So like you said, both teams in that five shot, or five foul, two shot opportunity for the remainder of this quarter. So this is Jace Langhouse getting his second opportunity from the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line. Langhouse in and out, but nice hustle by Andy Mormon to maintain possession. And it's gonna stay here with Audeville as he threw the ball off of the Pandora Gilboa defender's foot. So Audeville's going to maintain possession here with just a minute to go here in the third quarter. And really a big possession here for this Audeville team. You know, big difference in the scoring, but you know they got to find some offense as they turn the ball over there and almost we get it back, but <laughs> falls back to the Rockets. We about had a couple turnovers and a couple behind the back passes and a couple saves and. So Colin Harris, 45 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Pandora Gilboa holding on to a commanding lead in this Putnam County Saturday Night League matchup. The number one team in Division IV's district, Pandora Gilboa against the number two team in the Elida Division IV district. And just hustled by Jace Langhouse to be relentless on the defensive end, and he's going to draw the foul from Nate Walker, and Langhouse is going to get another opportunity to get to that least famous recipe chicken free throw line. Yeah, great steal there by Jace Langhouse. As it looked like the Rocket this player fell asleep a little bit. And <laughs> yep. Jace Langhouse was right there quickly to take the ball away from him. I said opportunity to score some points without any time coming off the clock. 
And you know, if you're watching this game as a fan, you've seen a lot of good things. I mean, you obviously see the athletic ability from Pandora Gilboa. You're, you see the, the Harris uh, boys up and down the floor, making things happen. But Audeville, like I said earlier, they got a lot of grit. They got a lot of toughness. Uh, they have no quit in them. It's just been a really fun game so far as a nice take by Camden Verhoff. He is going to get on the scoreboard to push this Rockets lead to 51 to 28 on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. And now, is Zach Neuenschwan are going to get an opportunity here to convert? And he does. Langhouse going to have this last opportunity to have. It's not enough. And Pandora Gilboa is going to lead this third quarter with lots of momentum and a big lead on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. It's the Pandora Gilboa Rockets 53 and the Ottaville Big Green 28. We'll have fourth quarter action coming up here in just a few moments. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. I want to thank our instant replay sponsor tonight, Road State College, where spring 2024 registration is now open. I want to thank our instant replay sponsor, Rhodes State College. Anytime I see anything that says spring, as it's uh, cold and snowy and windy and all those things coming in here on a cold, bitterly, bitterly cold Saturday night in Pandora Gilboa, spring is a good thing to see. Absolutely. <laughs> It's a long time before uh, spring, Josiah. We, uh, we've got a ways to go here. Uh, spring in my mind. <laughs> Us educators, we just all, all we want to do is get to the spring. <laughs> so here we go. Michael Turnwald, or excuse me, Ashton Miller, trying to get the point there. But Landon Horseman there for the follow-up. Landon Horseman doing a great job for this Ottaville Big Green. He's had a great second half defensively and also a lot of hustle as Michael Turnwell gets the steal. And then Collis Harris, Colin Harris gets the steal too, but they're going to call him with the foul. Yeah, Colin Harris there looked like he had a pretty clean steal there, but the officials saw something a little bit different coming from behind. Typically, officials will call that. But Ottaville, a good steal there by Michael Turnwald. A lot of just extra effort there. Got a foul there, as we've seen it tonight. Both yes. teams love to fly <laughs> to the boards. And another foul, I believe, on number 25, Ashton Miller, which I believe it will be his fourth. Well, and you know, it's it's easy to, you know, you hear the crowd's reaction. And, but, you know, Ashton Miller's going for the basketball. Colin Harris going for the basketball. As aggressive as these teams have been, both these teams have been, it's it's been clean. I mean, they're, they're doing it the right way. And that's just what happens when you're aggressive. Physical play happens. So Pandora Gilboa feeling a little bit of a press from the Ottaville Big Green. They're going to break the press. This is Aiden Morris. Morris over to Owen Huffman, who kicks it back to Morris. And Pandora Gilboa looks like they're going to settle things down here a little bit, maybe try to run a, a set here and maybe take, take some time off the clock as Nate Mag is going to pull it out and reset things. Zach. Well, as I was saying, Pandora Gilboa you know, having that 23-point lead. Doesn't have to rush in. Looking for layups as they found it there by number five, Owen Huffman. You know, really, with Aiden Harris out of the ball game, it's been a little bit of everybody for this Pandora team. Pandora Gilboa team doing a great job. And they'll get another possession here as I believe the ball went out on the Ottawa Big Green. Once again, we're seeing lots of physical play, bodies on the ground, going after basketballs, but it's great to see. I mean, these guys are getting after it. And the fans are into it as well. I love the energy in this gym tonight. Owen Huffman with the basketball back to Colin Harris. And you mentioned with Aiden Harris out, you know, we, we hope he's okay and we hope that maybe he can, as the season goes on, get back in there. But this is an opportunity for Pandora Gilboa to find out who else they can depend on as Colin Harris is going to draw a foul here underneath. And I believe might have called a technical on Andy Mormon. Looked like there might have been an extra shove there at the end after the whistle. So the officials giving a T as we see the official come to the scoreboard. And I believe Colin Harris will step up to the free throw line. As we see that on the Rhodes State College instant replay several times. 
And that's going to take Colin Harris to the free throw line. And, you know, we talked about it earlier. It was clean, and now it's getting a little, little chippy. But the reality is, is this is an intense game. This is a cross-county rival here as Colin Harris misses his first Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throw. And I love how the officials are settling things down, too, talking to the, the Ottawa players, making sure everybody gets settled and finishes this last six minutes and 28 seconds of the game. Colin Harris converts his second least famous recipe chicken free throw. Colin Harris with that free throw. Hits his season average. Comes in averaging 10 points a game. He's the type of player who does a little bit of everything. We mentioned it earlier. You know, he's a great rebounder, uses that athleticism not only on the defensive glass, but also on the offensive glass. It kind of runs the show. Yeah. We know that Aiden Harris does a lot of scoring, but he does a good job of kind of being the glue guy for this Pandora Gabo team. So the ball is loose, and there's a tussle in the lane, but it ends up with Michael Turnwald. He drives the length of the floor, and we got bodies flying all over the place, Josiah. See that on the Road State College instant replay. And we just see both of these teams just continually to hustle, <laughs> going full speed. You know, no matter who's got the ball, everybody's working hard. And like you said, the, the fans are really getting into sure it are. now. And, but, you know, outside of that, you know, technical, it has really been a clean game. These yeah, two teams sure fighting really hard for possession, for position on the court. We're going to get a foul on. It looks like they're going to get that one on the free throw as Colin Harris went falling, and we're going to get a push. Looks like Garrett Trimble's going to get with the push, and Coach Keith Utendorf is arguing this as we see that on the Road State instant replay. Fans are into it, and they're going to stay with it here. The Pandora Gilboa fans want a technical, but I think Coach Udendorf was just expressing his frustration, you know? You're allowed to do that as a coach. As long as you can do it professionally. Get a foul here by Garrett Trentman, which is going to be that fifth big green foul of this quarter, which is going to mean Pandora Gilboa is going to be shooting free throws, at least famous recipe free throws for the rest of this evening. And there's still a lot of time here in this fourth quarter. Just under six minutes to go. So as you said, Pandora will be at the free throw line. Moving forward on any infraction. I wish my Browns would have been this aggressive tonight. As, as, as aggressive <laughs> as these uh, these two teams have been tonight. But you know, you're, if you're Pandora Gilboa, you you're love the aggressiveness. But is there a point where you, with this big lead, that it's not necessarily helping your team. I mean, is there is there a point where, you know, substitutions need to happen just so that someone doesn't get out of here injured? As Jay Slinghouse misses a shot here. Second chance opportunity. By Landon Horseman, and we're going to get a jump ball underneath. Yeah. It's getting kind of sloppy now. Yeah, and I think that was a good call by the official. Both the Audeville Big Green and the Rocket player both we're fighting for the ball instead of calling a foul. Just allow the play. Change of possession here. As a long toss. And Landon Horseman was there waiting for it. Michael Turnwall triple try and he banks it in. Michael Turnwall. Cutting this Rockets lead to 23 on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. And we're going to get a foul here at midcourt. It's going to be a push. It's going to take Pandora back to the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throw line. And you're right, you know, the game had been back and forth and up and down, but I feel like this fourth quarter, only a minute and a half, or excuse me, two and a half minutes off the, the clock, and we've had lots of action, lots of fouls so far. Well, and if you're out of it, you don't want to allow them to score easy points from the free throw line. You want to make it difficult on them, you know. Opportunity here to you know do some trapping, you know, force them to play a little bit quicker, but now we see for this Rocket team just getting a lot of their points from the free throw line. So Zach 
Neuenschwander comes in. He's got six points tonight. He's going to have an opportunity here on the Lee's free throw to add to his point total. First one rolls in and out. He's going to get a second opportunity here. Lee's famous recipe chicken. Locations in Lima, Walpock, Delphi, St. Mary's. Catering needs as well if you need catering. Great meal after church on a Sunday. Growing up, always had Lee's Famous Wispy Chickens. This is where home style happens here. Zach Neuenschwander, second opportunities missed. And a nice rebound by Jace Langhouse. Audeville trying to cut this lead here. As they're going to turn the basketball over. As it was just the pass was just a little too high for Kerrick Trentman to bring it down. Audeville will continue to stay in that full court pressure here. As Pandora Gilboa is in no hurry to run some offense. Just want to take care of the ball. Take some ticks off of this clock. Force Audeville to come out. Like we said before, can't foul or the easy points then from the free throw line for this Rockets team. So Pandora Gilbo is going to pull the ball out here. This is Aiden Morris. Morris going to set things up. Coach Mike Lee telling Morris to run this set. And Jace Langhouse is going to get the steal, and they're going to get Aiden Morris with the foul. They said he used his head there to try to slow down Jace Langhouse. And that will be the third foul of the fourth quarter. The WOSN Scores app is new and improved. You can download the new app from your app store. Don't miss any of your favorite team scores. I know on a Friday night football season, I'm checking the WOSN app for scores on a Friday and Saturday evening in the in the winter. I'm looking to see who won the, the boys and girls basketball games. It's our WOSN app. Make sure you download it today to stay up to date with all of the scores. Jace Langhouse draws the foul. He's going to get himself to the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throw line as well. As we look at the schedule here for the Audeville Big Green as Jace Langhouse goes to the free throw line. They'll host Miller City next Friday evening in a Putnam County League matchup. And they will take on St. Henry next Saturday evening at St. Henry. Pandora, next Friday night, they'll take on Arlington in a Blanchard Valley Conference matchup. And then a fun one, Delphi St. John's on Saturday evening here in Pandora Gilboa. Colin Harris with the basketball. Getting pressure from Garrett Shretman, kicks it over to Huffman. Huffman drives the lane, Neuenschwander pulls it out. Pandora Gimbal being very patient here with Nate Walker with the basketball as Audeville trying to make a steal and Jace Langhouse just does that. Langhouse puts his shoulder down and he's going to get it to fall as they're going to get a blocking call on Pandora Gilboa. Pandora, a couple turnovers in the last couple possessions trying to find a way to run out this clock here with less than four minutes to go. Jace Langhouse a couple times tonight, he's got a steal, got in front of those passes from the Rockets. Let's see if he can knock down the free throw for this three-point play. It's a great take by Langhouse on the Road State College instant replay, and now he has the opportunity here to get to the least chicken free throw line. Misses the first one. Ball's in transition. This is Owen Huffman. Owen Huffman on the scoreboard. Nice play by Huffman. Yeah, once again, that was Colin Harris getting the rebound, pushing it out quickly to his teammate, Owen Huffman. Two easy points. Opportunity now for Audeville as they turn the ball over. Colin Harris will slow it down. So three minutes to go here on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. It's the Rockets 59, the Big Green 36. Audeville trying to trap. Out front as Colin Harris controls the basketball. We're going to have some more substitutions here for the Audeville Big Green. 
Harris gets it over to Aiden Morris. We're going to get a official's timeout underneath as Colin Harris is in the lane. and Looks like he might have turned an ankle, but he's walking it off here. And officials are going to stop and allow the substitutions to happen as we have some guys coming in off the bench. Looks like J.J. Hurston's going to come in for the Ottaville Big Green, Jackson Ricker. And also going to bring in Andy Mormon for the Big Green. Pandora Gilboa. Pandora is going to take a timeout, and we are going to take a timeout as well. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to High School Basketball. We want to thank our instant replay sponsor tonight, Rhodes State College. Spring 2024 registration is now open. And also our scoreboard sponsor, Springer Insurance. Locations in Pandora and Bluffton. Pandora Gilboa going to control the basketball. Colin Harris with the basketball. Some substitutions in for the Ottaville Big Greens. The opportunity some guys to get some playing time here with under three minutes to go. Pandora Gilboa holding a commanding 23-point lead on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard, 59 to 36. Harris drives the lane. Colin Harris, left-handed layup. We talked about him tonight. As soon as Aiden Harris has went out, Colin Harris has taken over. As Ashton Miller keeps the Ottaville Big Green alive here. Harris has had a Really, really great game. Just showing his, I guess, range, not as only as controlling the offense, but defensively, just all over the court tonight. Yeah, as we talked about many times, you know, especially rebounding, especially from the guard position, does a great job of rebounding for his team. But as you said, you know, can play defense. He's gotten three or four steals on the night, has led his team, you know, four or five assists where he just gets a rebound and then finds the open teammate. So, as you said, just does a little bit of everything for this PG team. And look like Coach Lee calling a timeout, maybe to get a couple of guys in. We'll see if he starts to allow some of his bench players to get a few more minutes tonight. It's a minute 46 to go. I'd like to see that as well. You've seen the officials keeping things moving. It was a 30-second timeout, but I think they took about four seconds to get some subs in and give some opportunity for some younger guys and guys that maybe haven't played so much tonight. It's an opportunity to play here. Aiden Morris with the basketball. He's been in quite a bit, but had a nice game so far as well. This is Owen Huffman with the basketball. Nice pass to Nate Walker. Walker over to Tanner Leakty. You can check out our website, WOSN.TV, for scores and standing and more sports and teams than anyone in the state. Check out our broadcast schedule, upcoming games, all kinds of things. You can always go to our website, WOSN.TV, as you see that foul on the Rhodes State College instant replay brought to you by Jacob O'Neill tonight. So as that's going to take... Pandora Goboa back to the free throw line with just a minute to go here. The Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken Free Throw Line and Taden Morris. Morris converts his first, pushes the Rockets lead to 62 to 38. If you're Audeville and you're, and you're processing this game, what are some things you can take from this game that you can start to build on? Well, I, I like their effort all night. You know, they continue to battle. You know, it's just they kind of hit a buzzsaw there in that yep. second quarter where that, you know, Aiden Harris scored 12 of his 16 points in that second quarter, you know, but they never gave up. You know, we saw it here, especially in the third quarter, starting out with a 5-0 run. You know, they got some stops, got some steals. Just it really happened on the offensive side of the ball. Haven't been able to convert a whole lot of buckets as we see there as Andy Mormon knocks down that shot. But, you know, a lot to build on. You sure. love the effort. The next thing comes is, you know, converting it on the offensive end. 
And if you're Pandora Gilboa, you come into this game 11-0, you have a big matchup tonight, you're very pleased with this big victory. What are some things as you're looking ahead, you're looking at a game next week with Arlington and Delphi St. John's, what are some things you're looking at or maybe some things that you take into next week's games? Well, got to get healthy. Got to make sure, you know, Aiden Harris is healthy and ready to go. But, you know, what we saw is, you know, their offense never stopped when he went off the floor. Right, so it's right. Well, it's a well-rounded team that continues to fight, that continues to rebound. They did a good job controlling the boards tonight, you know, but also just finding different guys, you know, to fill in that, that missing scoring. And, you know, it's hard to defend that when you have so many guys yep. that are that skilled on the offensive side of the ball. So this is a take by Ashton Miller. Miller's gonna, gonna get the opportunity here. He's gonna be called with the charge, and Ashton Miller's going to foul out of this game. As we have just 11 seconds to go here as the Pandora Gilbo Rockets are in full control of this game on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. And we have Nate Walker going across midcourt. And the final here is going to be a big win for the Rockets. Final thoughts from tonight's game, Josiah. Yeah, just a great game all around by this Pandora Gilboa Rockets team on the offensive and the defensive side of the ball. You know, that second quarter really set them apart from this Ottaville Big Green team. And Ottaville just wasn't able to come back after that second quarter. So a great win for them. We'd like to see them continue, as you said, number one team in District 4 in that Walpock District. So, Very good. We want to thank Athletic Director Matt Hershey for getting us rosters and taking care of us here tonight and doing a fantastic job. We want to thank our camera operator, editor, fearless leader, Jacob O'Neill, for doing everything tonight from just, I mean, absolutely everything, running things down to the uh, scores table right in the middle of the game. The man can do it all. We want to thank you as well as the final on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard reads the Pandora Gilboa Rockets 63 and the Ottaville Big Green 40. For John Zerbe and Josiah Stober, we thank you for watching High School Basketball on WSN. Have a good night. So long, everyone.